Hey there dudes and dudettes, lovely to see you all again. Today we're going to be looking at my third installment of the Ashes in Your Mouth solo tutorial. We're going to be looking at Dave Mustaine's solo and the harmonized solo that takes place in the bridge. Let's take a look. Alright guys, let's have a look at the first section. It's all relatively simple, it's just played quite quickly and there's a couple of strange emphases that I would like to go over with you. So we're going to start off with a hammer on from 12 to 15, pulling off back to 12 on the first string and then I'm going to jump to 15 of the second string. So I'm going to go like this. At the end of that I'm going to add a cheeky back pick and I'm going to jump back to 12 of the first string and that's going to kind of give us a five note grouping. It's sort of going from a triplet to two sixteenth notes or two semiquavers. We're going to repeat that phrase four times. Now you will notice that I'm ending on that pointer finger on 12 and then I'm hitting it again for the start of the hammer on pull off. So there's going to kind of be two 12s in a row. I'll play it a little bit slower. And it's a kind of tiny detail that might get missed when it's being played at full speed on the album. Okay, we're going to do basically the same idea, but now I'm going to hammer 12 to 17 and then pull off. The rest of the notes stay the same, pulling off to 12 on the same string and jumping to 15 on the second string, and we're going to do four groups of that. So all together thus far. From that point, I'm going to move across to 14 of the first string, and I'm going to hammer 14, 17, pulling off to 14. So the same pulse, sort of a triplet into two semiquavers. From that point, I'm jumping to 16 of the second string, back down to 14, and I'm going to do four groups of that. And the next thing that I'm going to do to change that is I'm going to hammer 14 to 19, pulling off and then jumping back to 16 of the second string. The end of that. Ending on that 14, that's our next group of five. So all of it is these kind of tiny groups of five, the triplet into the two semiquavers for a group of four. So what I'm doing here is this. From the start, we should have this. Hopefully that's all making sense. I'm going to repeat the first two groups from 12, 15 and 12, 17. So we'll repeat that again. This time when I get to the 14, 17, 16 phrase, we're going to end slightly different. So I'm going to repeat the 14, 17, 14 then 16 of the second string phrase four times. At the end of that, I'm going to do sort of a grace note slide from uh, what's that 17 up to 19. You can kind of think of that as trem. I think of it as sort of um, like two triplets per beat. So I'm doing four groups of six there. Pineapple, 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 So I'm going two pineapples a beat if that helps. And then on that last bar, I'm just hitting the 19 one more time and vibratoing it for the duration of the bar. Two, three, four. And that's all of the first section before we work into the harmonized solo. So let's go right back to the start, play it again at a gentleman's pace, and then we'll do it again even slower with some terms. One more time with some tabs. All right, 
let's have a look at this delicious harmonized solo. So we're gonna be repeating this theme quite a number of times. So once we learn that arpeggio, it will be recycled quite a few times. I'm gonna start off by playing 15, 19, 15 on the first string. Then from that point, I'm kind of working through a D major arpeggio, playing 14 of the first, 15 of the second, 14 of the third. You'll see perfectly mimics that uh, D major shape. So we've got this. At the end of that D major arpeggio, I'm gonna be playing the E note on 14 of the fourth string, and then I go 12, 14 on the fourth string. So all together. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that arpeggio again on the next chunk. Ending on 14 of the fourth string. Then I work into this phrase. It looks a little bit tricky, but it's just a lot of pull-offs. Nothing too ridiculous. What I've got here is two pull-offs from 14 to 12 on the fourth string. I'm actually not doing two pull-offs. I'm doing one pull-off and then I'm plucking 14 again. From that point, I'm actually jumping to 12 of the third string. So I've got pull off, pick, pick. Then from that point, I'm doing exactly the same thing from the second, the third to the second string. So I've got a pull off, plucking the 14, and then playing 12 on the string underneath. So I'll play it slowly, and you'll see what I mean by it's essentially the same thing twice. At the end of that, this is a relatively simple idea. I've got two pull-offs from 13 to 12 on the second string, and then 14 to 12, two pull-offs on the third. And at the end of that, resolving to 14 of the fourth. So we've got... One more time of a smidge slower. Okay, after that we work into the phrases where we've got the sort of ascending and descending little shred licks. We'll start off with this. So we're gonna start off with that initial arpeggio, ending on 14 of the fourth string. I'm gonna add in that quick 12, 14, and then I've got this almost Lydian intervals from the C note 13th fret on the second string. I'm gonna play 13, 15, 17, and then 14, 15, 17 on the first. Put that together with the arpeggio at the front. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing again, but I'm gonna play the shred run in reverse. Seventeen, fifteen, fourteen, seventeen, fifteen, thirteen. So we've got on the first little group of that, and then just the same thing in reverse on the next group. So let's have a look what we've got thus far, and then we'll have a look at the ending. that's all making sense. Then I'm gonna play uh, six notes all together. It's that initial arpeggio, but I don't resolve to the E. So I'm gonna go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So just those three notes at the start in the D major arpeggio, two times in a row. At the end of that, I'm gonna work through this pull off phrase. We're working from the lower harmony. I'm pulling off from 15 to 12 on the second string twice and I'm just gonna work up chromatically in groups of two pull-offs. So we're gonna start at 15, 12, and then we're gonna work up to 22 to 19. We're gonna do two pull-offs on each, and I think this should be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's two groups of four or two groups of eight, or one whole group of eight, depending on how you want to look at that. We're starting from 15 and we're ending on 22. At the end of that, got a full tone bend with some vibrato at the top. And that is the whole solo. Let's go right back to the start, play it again at the gentleman's pace, and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs.
One more time with some tabs. my third installment of the ashes in your mouth solo tutorial by megadeth hope you guys enjoyed that please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and if you want to have this lesson anything else that i've done please click the links in the description box to join up with the patreon there's a bunch of extra content there if you guys are interested and excited and want to support the channel also have three books out now ultimate shred machine my first book if you want to up your chops in shredding sweeping and legato and tapping all there uh, my second book Rock Guitar Mode Mastery, if you want to up your understanding of how to compose and improvise with the seven modes. And of course, my most recent book, Shred Guitar Improvisation, if you want to up your understanding of how to improvise over chord changes and do sexy sequences. If you're excited by all three, ta-da, I've got them all available in one delightful trilogy as well. And if you're not much of a reader, I do have all of those uh, books available in a video course form on Udemy and ChrisSuper.com if you were interested. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Hope you're all keeping each other company and being very nice to each other during these uncertain quarantine times. Uh, be nice to one another. Enjoy your guitar, and I'll catch you guys all very soon.